Now, in Ireland at the moment there's the Mayfly is in full swing and uh, a friend of mine's going over shortly uh, in the next day or two and he needs some, some gnats so this is a partner tie for him. It's, I've tied two or three times over the years and he's did extremely well so I've got some more to tie. It's basically just like a hair wing gnat pattern. Uh, it's reasonably simple to tie. Uh, uh, gnats or spents as, a, as they're called in Ireland uh, are very important. The fish, the, the fly come on to the, the, lay, the loss to they lay the eggs at night and when they're obviously spent they just lie and you're looking for a good silhouette or shape that they can see and obviously one you can see as well and this one slightly sits up that you can see a wee bit more at the top flat underneath uh, but it, it works, it's a nice pattern so I'm going to show you how to tie it hook size, this is a full and bill hook, it's the all purpose medium size 10 you can go slightly bigger because the mayflies are big but the 10 this is a, is a good size thread I'm going to start off with is a uni thread in white uh, in 8.0 and finish off with the black uni thread just for the head, just to finish the black head but to keep the body as white as possible I'm using the, the obviously the white thread but we just quickly run the thread down, I've waxed it so there's plenty of grip take the thread down two thirds of the weight, remove the waist and then I'm going to come back up put a nice layer of thread down because I'm going to tie on this, this squirrel and it's quite a hard here, so you need a good base of thread down. Now I'm about round about three mil or so from the eye. I've got my grey squirrel. Now what I'm going to do is stack it. I'm going to take enough to form the right and the left side of the, the wing. As you get used to the amount, just take it out. That's lined up reasonably well, but I'm going to stack it just to make sure it's nice and got a nice shape, a nice colour band. I want that nice white tips and black centre. Just cleaning away the broken ends or any underfur. Put into my stacker, tips first. So there's the tips of the squirrel go in. Tap on your desk. See how it's all lined up. Can remove it from the stacker. Now you're looking for a wing length around about, I like about an inch of hair coming off either side. So. But basically what we do is get our inch, now you could measure it just, if you look at the length of the, the hook, and it's just slightly by the end, tie this forward, be nice and tight, and then we wind down. Before we do anything we can actually check the length, just make sure our length's right. As you can see, I'm just checking the length's fine, the marks are okay. Now, come down a few turns there now, what I'm going to do here is cut this at an angle from the top. So this, if we cut it a tapered like this, we'll get a tapered body. Now the hair's really hard. So now what I like to do is get the super glue on it. This is a full and mill super glue, it comes with a brush. And then wind over this, this will basically tight and really tight. Fly will last far longer. There's less chance of the wing rotating around the hook shank, so you don't want that. Now take away the excess. Going to carry on down until just to the point before we get around the bend of the hook. We tie in the tail fibres. Now, the tail fibres, the Irish boys like pheasant tail. This is dyed black pheasant tail. It's not the strongest fibre in the world, I admit. The hair or something else, uh, moose mane, stuff like that, can be used. So it's up to yourself. But, um, there's only three tails in the May, natural, the mayfly itself, but compensate for this being quite weak. I'm going to put in a couple more. Well, a good tail length, get a measurement around about maybe, say, the shank, shank of the hook, maybe twice that. Tie that on the top. Just going to make sure it's sitting the way I want. They'll stay together a wee bit once you start to cast these. The fibres will spread. Just making sure they're sitting where I want. You can see how they'll spread slightly once you, you do that. Now there's going to be a red tag on this, a red holographic tag. So we trim that to the length. Got a medium red holographic tinsel. Catch this on. Then we wind it up. Now you're looking for maybe 2 to 3 mil for the tag, which is there. To protect the tinsel, I'm going to wind over again the super glue. Just work our way up. It's fine. Ok, 
carries this in. Two, three turns to secure it. Right, throw away the base. Now, for the rib, I'm going to use a, an extra small. This is a UTC wire in black, extra small. Now, you could use something else. You could use a silver, or even a gold wire, or even a red wire I've seen used. And some patterns. Um, you could use a thicker thread. It's up to yourself. Let's catch this on. Full length of the body. Get to set. There we are. I'm just going to quickly take the thread up. Then we tie in a white floss and way back down. Now, the floss I'm going to be using is the uni floss. You can use whatever you like. This is really bright, a great bright white. I like to tie things on the way back down. So I'll come around with a loose turn and then pull it in. And wind till we get to a, a tinsel. And then we're going to come back up. And then form our body. Sort of way up, nice and neat. Stop it around about a couple of mil from the the wing. Now for the body hackle, I'm going to be using the kind of this is a saddle I've got. It's a badly marked. Now you could use just a standard grizzle, or this is a badly marked grizzle. It's just I think this is an old Shannon neck uh, saddle that I had for had it for a while. Uh, but I use it for flies like this, and you could use a badger or even choose white. Just going to remove fluff at the bottom. My way, leave my wax on my thread. Nice and tight, tie this in. Just make sure the stem's tied in. I want two or three turns at the top now. I'll just use my hackle pliers so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, you want you need at least three turns or so at the top here. This will support the wing. And then as you wind down, three turns is plenty. So I'm gonna straight turn at the back with the wire, follow up with the last turn of the, the hackle. Just leave the hackle pliers sit. And then you want to rub the body maybe about five times or so. And then what I like to do is come in front, a couple of turns, take it round the thread, come up with the thread, that locks it in. Hold the wing back, now I'm just taking the thread towards the eye. And the bend and break will be the wire, and trim will be the waist. Now, what I'm going to do here is get the hair dryer, I'm going to blow the hair. And split it so it goes down evenly either side or basically force it back. You'll see in a second what it does. Now, it's obviously, going to make a lot of noise here, but it's a warm hair dryer. So, I'm just forcing and splitting the, the hair down either side. You'll see once I've finished what it's like. I'll use a thread as well to do it, but this just gives you a nice shape. And you'll see here. What it's like here, where it's forced it back, just fanning the wing out, gives it a nice shape. Obviously, I've got a couple of hairs here, but I'm just to make sure they're folded back before I change the thread to black. I've got the black uni thread here. So, what I'm going to do is come up, hold the white out of the way, and remove the base piece of the black and the white thread. Now you could finish with that, I mean that would make a good spent in itself. Now there's a couple of things you could do as well, you could either put a small black hackle in the front, or a badger or something, just uh, will basically help hold it back. You can see the shape you get. But I'm going to use some dyed black, this is deer hair. It's a raw deer that I've had, and what I've done is I've, I've dyed, dyed it black. What I'm going to do here, 
it's kind of wing like here so get the length no longer than say halfway up into the wing with the, this is the natural tips so I've got the length and I want this quite short at the front I don't want these too long because it's going to form the head I want it just by the eye so when I come in you'll see it's just slightly by the eye I'll come around with a couple of turns and then I'm going to encourage the hair to rotate around the, the shank and then wind towards the, the eye of the hook pulling it back nice and tight and then we can whip finish now let's come in just take your time when you're doing this tighten up now you can leave it like that I would start off I would leave it like that when you're going fishing now the thing what I'm going to do here is just use the hairdryer again just to show you you don't need to trim the deer hair that's fine it's short enough I'm just using it as the hold back but you can see the shape that you get that spreads out uh, you've got enough height on here that you can see the fly when you, when you cast it if you want it a flat profile you basically got to trim underneath so what I do is get a straight pair of scissors I'll do it so you can see what it's like trim all the way down right, so it doesn't get a nice flat profile there we are all you have to do now is we touch it Varnish. Don't be shy with it. And then we clean the eye out. Let's use some other piece of wire here. There we go. And that's the spent. There's really no name to it. It's just one that I tie with the, the squirrel. Uh, a red tag that's the similar to there's no any hat patterns. They're very close. I mean, it's much the same colour you're going to get close anyway um, you can tidy it a wee bit more neater with this there we go so then anyway that's the knot good pattern it was certainly worth tying uh, is to say it's reasonably simple to tie I'm just going to split these fibres once you start to cast this I'm going to fan out anyway but for the for the camera I'll, I'll show you what it looks like uh, but anyway there we go. The deer hair is a wee bit, wee bit too long here. You can trim a bit of it, but that was the right length. But it's just slightly by the, the eye. When you rotate it, you'll get that head-like shape, a small muddler. So I hope we enjoyed that. <laughs>